Mm-hmm. Tight one to jams where hit music lives. It's all about eat. Ooh, hold on. Thinking it's 12 o'clock, man. <laughs> Listen, getting ready for E to the B. Got DJ Pressure right here with me, but right now it's all about Chat Trap. Letting you know what's happening at the 1130, man, in the media. What's going on? Pressure, how you doing today? Yeah, stretch. Everything good. You know how it is. You good, good? Yeah, I need to switch up my vocabulary. You know. Oh, goodness. Yeah. How you been? Come on now. Let me hear this. Intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I got to shout out to everybody on the Facebook Live as well, man, because it's all about the most lovable weekend of the year, Valentine's Day. And it just so happened to land on a Sunday, which I do think um, is a really good thing, seeing that Sunday is normally a chill day. So that's the time to really just relax with your loved one or you know, the person who you love the most, I'd say. All right, Brescia, that's what you're doing? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just chilling. I've you know, been chilling for the last year, though. For so the last you know, year. Yeah, ain't, ain't no, no difference. Too. Yeah. Okay, so let me let you know what's going on. So just recently in the media, you know, they were stating that Lauren London is pregnant. Of course, you know, she dated um, Nipsey Hussle, and it was unfortunate that he passed away during the time that they were together. But people have been trying to pin Lauren London to be with um, P. Diddy, so many other persons after Nipsey passed away. And now the fact that they're trying to put um, out there that, uh, that Lauren is pregnant now, of course, she came to social media, and she just couldn't take it. And honestly, to me, being a celebrity got to be super hard because you can imagine your boyfriend passed away you'll probably even have plans for marriage and people are just trying to start so many fake news so she took to social media and she was like fake news you people is miserable but since we got y'all attention what it feel like hustle times hove is coming up all right so i'm ready to see that nipsey hustle times um well nipsey hustle with jay-z that sounds like a really yeah, really good collaboration I saw the preview for it. Yeah. Yeah, I listened there too. It's awesome. Like, oh, I want to see it because yeah. it's actually in the 12th, which is tomorrow. The 12th is tomorrow, so I'd say look out for that. Hustle and Jay-Z right there. But letting you know what's going on with the Gorilla Glue Girl. And, oh gosh, this is a funny story in the media. If you have not seen it yet, the Gorilla Glue Girl by the name of Jessica Brown, you know, whose hair has been the same way for about a month who didn't, didn't necessarily have to use the Gorilla Glue, but she said she ran out of got to be glued, so she used the Gorilla Glue instead, but it's really not meant for hair. But she's finally unstuck, and Tessica said that, you know, she did go, she did undergo surgery for her hair with Beverly Hills plastic surgeon, Dr. Michael Obeng, who offered to perform the $12,000 500 procedure for free. Can you imagine that? So, she got her surgery for free. So what are they doing? Like... Well, they just took the glue out of here. Simple. So what the surgery for? Like, I mean, like, what's no. the process of this? That's what they're trying to understand. Well, I mean, the glue the, out. Yeah. So hair should grow back, eh? Um, it's going to grow back, but of course, you know, they went through, uh, it was a very long surgery, and you could see, like, if you look at the pictures that's posted online, her hair is very short, like it can, to me, honestly, it looks like it can't even go in one at this point. So they had to cut a bit of her hair off whilst they was doing the surgery. Well, listen to me. Only because we have it on social media, mm -hmm. we know what happened. Most of these, most of these women around here walking around with bald scalp and they know, you know. So, all right, there you go. We good? Yeah, yeah, we right, good. good. All right, so, all right, perfect. Yeah, only because social media, we know she bald. But most of these women just uh, fashion over caps right now, so she'll be good. Uh, I mean, I guess, but. I I, I still it's it's a bit it's a bit confusing to me as to as to why she would use the gorilla glue. I Seeing that friend, it's stated, uh huh. I'm a listening. Friend hype up. Girl, don't worry, but you can use the gorilla glue and stick to see it. I think the friend. What you think the friend say? I think the friend hype her right up to use the gorilla glue. Fresh I believe that. Because if you look at the picture, the friend in the back, like uh you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So yeah, I think it's the friend. She should blame a friend. <laughs> Cut off a friend. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I honestly completely disagree with that. But <laughs> but it's just sad to see that, you know, she did have to go through surgery for using it. And it was actually a four-hour-long surgery. And they said, so they said it was pretty grueling. But, you know, it's just good to see that she's finally able to have her hair back out. And she can grow it again and do whatever style she wants. But it's pretty short. So I'm pretty sure she's going to be using, um, the, like she's going to be doing the pixie cuts moving further. How long do you think the hair was before it was long enough to go in one. It was long enough for a ponytail. It was long enough for a ponytail. Let me say that. It was long enough for a ponytail. You ever see a little bun in the back and they try put the extension on? I like that. I like that. I like that. We ain't going to talk about that. I ain't dissing nobody. Can I'm not dissing my females on air because, of course, you know. I'm not dissing, but it's out there. 
It's Odell. It happens, nonetheless. Me but, and your friend. <laughs> oh, goodness. But, of course, you know, this weekend um, is definitely a weekend where a lot of females are right now shopping and getting ready for Valentine's, that is. So I want to ask Pressure Man. Pressure, what are your plans for Valentine's this Sunday? Well, this weekend, because not necessarily you'll be celebrating it on Sunday. Hey, just comfort, I guess. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You could just give money, but, you know, your spouses be like, oh, you should have put some thought into getting me something or doing something. So I ain't figure it out yet. You ain't sure? No, I ain't too sure yet. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Well, I don't know. I was in the laundry store yesterday. Can't put too much of my business out there. But you but did. I you just did. <laughs> Well, anyhow, that ain't too much of it. That's I'm just not a putting look. too much of my business out there, but yeah. I've been in the laundry, the hours, the laundry store. The laundry store. The yeah, laundry I mean, store. well, uh, let me say this. That isn't wow. too much. <laughs> Lord, that isn't too much of the business. That's just a bit of it. That's all I'm saying. That's just a you bit just of it. You just old picture for Let me, let me finish, let me finish right, the story. Finish. So I'm just saying, you can tell a lot of ladies are pretty just just trying to do something or still excited about you know Valentine's Day weekend because I had um, one of the salesperson she just was telling me what she already got planned how she already bought her stockings she already bought her laundry outfit and I'm like okay my ladies are definitely ready is that you try it on um you could hold on so you could go in a laundry store and try, try laundry. on the laundry mm -hmm. and if you don't like it put it back so uh, these like test laundries would you always be trying on a name uh, you you can some of them though not all of them at least for me the ones that are outside of the packs then you can you can definitely try them on. It no matter who had it on first. Oh goodness gracious! That's what they trying to. That's what they trying to understand. Though. I mean it's the same thing like trying on a bikini. That's what they normally so have to. So you can go in a store try on underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like it, just leave it there. Well, let me say that. Let me say this. It depends on which store you go in, first of all. It depends Try on which store you go in. I don't want to know. And but, <laughs> but uh, when it comes to that, you have to know your size when it comes to certain things. Right. But I'm saying certain things you still are able to try on depends on what it is. Oh, wow. All right. So, Precious Line, it sounds like you need a head in the laundry store soon. That's what it's starting to sound like. I'm not going to try on them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, well, let me take it to the Facebook, man, because, of course, I I um, had a few persons telling me what they had to do. So it seems as though a lot of, person in the t a lot of persons in the 242 are very single. Because I have my girl, Latea Rule, right here. She's saying that she is single, and she will be home watching Lifetime movies. Then I got Ronaldo um, right here. He's saying that he's single as well. He'll probably just be chilling at home and relaxing. And I got Teflon, man. Teflon telling me that he... Just gonna be chilling out with a case of Bud Light and a Cuban cigar and enjoying life. So don't sound like too much is going on. You know what? I try. Be, be a woman like Lifetime and First Forty Eighty. What? Like anything unsolved mysteries and mm -hmm. and like that Lifetime type uh, scheduling movies and stuff. They that's what it's being to like. Cause I just be trying to figure out like why you why you want to be in a depressing state. How is that the dressing if you're going to be at home watching movies? Ninety percent of Lifetime movie is this dude did something now and uh. she got over it and it was this, the, the person who probably was there helping her with something and not to do it for her. Uh-huh. That's, I just already know the plot so that's why I'm not going to waste my movie time on that. Well, that's possibly. I mean, I ain't knocking her for her lifetime but the dude with the bears and the casing I think <laughs> he oh, should goodness. get an award. Uh, it's not like you about to drink yourself a little bit too much, eh? Uh, who else? No, yeah. he's gonna do the right thing. Uh huh. Motivation. Say motivation. Motivation. <laughs> oh man, but I got my girl Dina right here, man. She's saying that she don't celebrate. Um, but we don't. She's saying that we don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Well, she don't celebrate Valentine's Day with her significant other, but they spoil each other on the regular. Well, that's pretty cute, still. Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I don't know. But to me, at the end of the day, I'm just saying, fellas, I know a lot of fellas are saying that, you know, they do things. I think I was getting my hair cut yesterday, and the gentleman was telling me how him and his girlfriend normally, they travel together. They normally go on dates, so th there's no listen, reason for listen, her to, to me, really listen, want something listen. for this Valentine's Day. But no matter listen, what, listen no matter me. what, listen, you got to right. get your woman at least listen something. Me. Make her feel a little bit special for that Valentine's, day. Valentine's, Christmas, and uh, their birthday. Uh -huh. You could do the greatest things for your significant person all year round mm -hmm. but that particular them particular days yeah it's still you got to make them feel a part of the culture a part of the celebration you know what i mean i agree yeah so I, when they say oh we celebrate it uh, whatever do it on the do it on that day too if you just do it every day hello do it on that day too. i like that pressure i right. like that I'm like, i like i like that right there because to me it's very it's, i wouldn't say um it's a very vital part of the year but at the end of the day especially tomorrow's friday just get her something nice 
Right. It don't have to be something too out of the way, not something too expensive, but because of course, you know, it's still a pandemic and a lot of persons are not working right now. You're just trying to find a special All way to express, bang, express your significant other, what you want to do exactly. So I definitely would say just write a letter, a sweet letter that you probably yeah, haven't done in a while. Right? Do something that you really, really, really haven't done in a long time. That's it. As I'm, I'm saying, not throw, what you do every day. Bang. Do it that day. Exactly. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, Sunday, if you, if you, if you, didn't do something together. Listen to the thunder. No, what would be the love? The quiet storm. The quiet storm on, on Sunday. On Sunday, yeah. So mm -hmm. check that out. Get some wine. Get some flowers. Get some chocolates. You know what I mean? Put the kids. Send the kids them somewhere. Yeah. Let somebody Tone watch them. in the jams uh -huh. from six to ten. Right. And listen to that love wine. You might even get two, three rounds. You ain't gonna do the one round no more. You can do no. two to three rounds. All right. <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. What Brush yeah. is trying to say for this Valentine's Day weekend, man. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what it's all about, what's happening in the media, and hopefully you do enjoy your weekend. But nonetheless, tomorrow is Friday, so still get us something on Friday, right. and just something a little sweet. Send it to a work, man. Just something sweet. It ain't gotta be too expensive. And then on Sunday, you still have something planned. All right, fellas. Just letting you know now. Especially, I've been wondering. Ladies, what the, I've just been trying to think. What do ladies really do for the fellas then for Valentine's Day? Brasha, what have you been, what have you have done for you? Now, I'm trying to get in your business, but I'm trying to get in your business. What? It's like, are you trying to buy, I'm buying laundry, but whatever. Anyhow. Ah, um, uh -huh. let me hear this. I, honestly, I can't put my stories out there because yeah, it's okay, been a little okay. too explicit. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but all I can say is. They ain't for the radio. I love unicorns. <laughs> I love you, of course. That's the best way uh, to put it. It's like a costume body right there. Precious be yeah. oven. But we ain't going to get to too many details. But that's it for Chat Trap. Letting you know what's going on in the media. About to jump back into the mix, man. Remember to stay in love and make sure it's not that toxic love. Because we are getting rid of that in the year of 2021. But to jump into that Master Montana right here with I Love.